Hello everyone, I welcome you on my channel. In this video, I will cover the degeneracy case of LPP through solver. I will tell you uh, in this how to read it uh, from a report that it's a degeneracy case. Okay, so as you can see <clears throat> in this question, we have here two variables. This one is a maximization case and here we have two constraints and a non-negative data restrictions. So I am starting with the uh, cell F4. I am here writing the uh, variable A. And in cell G4, I will write variable B. Now in cell F5, I will here write the um, objective function coefficients corresponding to A, it's a 1 and for the B, it's a 3. Now come to the cell E7, I will give the name to my constraints. First, for the first constraint, I am using the term C1 and for the second constraint, I will here use the term C2. Now come to the cell F7. In this, I will here uh, write the uh, coefficients for uh, A and B uh, corresponding to our first constraints. So it's a 1 and 4 for the B. Uh, in the similar way, we will write the coefficients for the A and B regarding our second constraint. These are the 1 and 2 respectively. Now what we will do here, I will select the cell F7 to F8 and fill with color. So I am filling it with a color. Okay. Now come to the cell I6. So here I will write the inequalities for the first constraint. It's a less than or equal to. And for the <coughs> second constraint, it's a again less than or equal to. Now come to the cell J6. I will write here my uh, bi value for the first constraint is 8 and uh, in cell j8 i will write here the value of this bi value of the second constraint is the 4 now come to the cell j10 and fill it with a color and uh, i'm giving a name to uh, this cell it's a maximize z why i'm filling it a J tan with the color because uh, it's a cell where we will apply here a formula and this one cell will give you a maximized value of set. Similarly in our cell H7 and H8 we have colored these two cells because here we will get the values regarding our first and second constraint like how many units have been utilized okay in the A and B production you can say. Uh, now to find out the value of our a and b variables we are required here to select uh, cells uh, uh, in this case i will here uh, select these cells from f10 to, to g10 and fill these cells with color now before starting uh, applying solver i will here apply a inbuilt formula it's a sum product formula so i am typing here su double mp double click on it and then press shift plus f3 so in some cases uh, uh, shift plus f3 can't work then in that case you can uh, directly put the uh, coefficients for the array one so i'm selecting here the uh, cell from f7 to g7 put comma then select cell for the array two from f10 to g10 bracket close then press enter now come to the cell h7 and uh, look here in our formula bar i will here freeze the f and g cell by putting dollar sign why i am freezing these two uh, f and g column because i want to copy this formula vertically so i want uh, my column to be freezed and row will be valid here okay in array 2 i will freeze it completely so i will put a dollar sign before the column and the row so i will put here the dollar sign before the 
f and 10 in the similar way i have put here the dollar before g and 10 by pressing function and the f4 key together on a one stroke then after that we will press enter now come to the cell h7 uh, bring your cursor to the lower right side click on it and drag it up to the h8 so as you can see in our formula bar, our formula has been copied so your columns are uh, as it is but your row gets changed and your array to is also fixed here now come to the cell j10 here i will type the formula equal to sump double click on it and it's asking for the array one so in this case i will here select the cells from uh, f5 to g5 uh, where we have our objective function coefficients put comma then i will select the cell from f to g10 uh, where we are required to find out a and b variables value so i will close the formula and press enter now uh, come to the uh, cell j10 select the j10 cell and go to the data in data i've have already uh, activated my solver in case if you have not activated the solver application so please uh, go through my uh, multiple optimal solution uh, video where we have where I have uh, show you uh, where, like how to add a solver okay so now click on solver and uh, as you can see that in a solve parameter it's asking for the set objective so yes j10 is the uh, cell where we require maximum value of z by default it's showing maximum okay and by changing variable cells i will select this cell from f10 to g10 click on the subject to the constraints and click on add now it's asking for the cell reference so i will here select the cell h7 and check for the inequalities in constraint i will select the cell it's a j7 as you can see that uh, add constraints dialog box format or you can say it's a, uh, the question that i have created its format is somewhere same okay now click on add then I will select the uh, cell reference for the second constraints. So I will select the cell H8. Look for the inequalities. It's same. Now in constraints, I will here refer the cell J8 and click on OK. So finally, as you can see in our subject to the constraints, we have entered our constraints. Now we will uh, make it uh, checked. OK, so we want a non-negative uh, solution here and uh, this one is a lp problem so i have select here a solving method it's a simplex lp and then click on solve as i click on solve you will find that the solver has found the solution and uh, the maximized value of z is 6 and uh, your a is 0 and b is 2 and here in our c1 and c2 we have here the values in our cell H7 and H8 it's uh, 8 and 4 it means the left hand side and the right hand side are equal it means the resources are fully utilized and uh, in the production of A and B you can say so in our solver results box the we will keep our solver solution and here we will generate two reports and click on OK so <clears throat> as you can see that uh, two reports are generated here answer report and sensitivity reports in answer report you can see here that our final value maximum z is 6 and a or b values are 0 and 2 and c1 and c2 they are the binary because they are fully utilized resources and there is no select variable come to the sensitivity reports now uh, as we know here we have two constraints it means there will be two basic variables and two will be non-basic variables okay so c1 and c2 they are fully utilized it means they will be non-basic variables and uh, here uh, in our 
A and B, they will become our basic variables. Okay. So uh, as you can see here that regarding the basic variables A, your final value is zero. So when we uh, do this same question manually, what we find here that in our solution, your A value will be zero and your CJ minus ZJ value is also zero. So the solution for our basic variable, it's a zero. It means that it's a degeneracy case. So whenever we find a zero in our solution uh, for our basic variables, it means it's a degeneracy case. So this one is a way of finding out a degeneracy case. Okay. So I hope ke aap logo ko so thank you all for uh, watching my video.